So you accidentally deleted a file on your phone and now you want to recover it. Well, the first step is to put it on airplane mode and stop using it. Even if you're watching this video on your phone, that could lower your chances of recovering that file. So instead, pull this video up on your laptop, desktop, or TV, and I'll meet you back here in a second. 12 seconds later. Welcome back. Okay, so the reason I told you to stop using your phone and put it into airplane mode is because whenever you delete a file, the data isn't completely removed instantaneously. Instead, the Android OS marks the space where that data used to sit as empty. So you won't be able to reach that file as easily, but it's still technically there until that empty slot gets filled by something else. Usually when new files need that extra space. Now I don't wanna bring up your hopes though, cause there is an extremely high chance that you won't be able to recover your deleted file, especially if that file was deleted more than 24 hours ago. And I guarantee you that there's gonna be plenty of people leaving a comment saying that this video is useless because their file didn't get recovered. But the truth is, is that no recovery method is a guarantee. And any other YouTuber who tells you otherwise is lying to you and maybe even trying to scam you. I'm not trying to scam you. As a matter of fact, no program, app, or method within this video is sponsored or has paid me to show it off. I'm literally just showing off what works best to give a helping hand. If it works, then hooray, thumbs up. But if it doesn't, I'm super sorry. Um, also, if you dropped and damaged your phone to the point where it's not even usable anymore, like the touchscreen won't work or the display won't turn on, uh, but it, you can still see that it turns on because you can feel vibrations or hear the sound, then just skip to this timestamp to quickly recover your files from that broken device. Anyways, if you're lucky enough, your file may not even be deleted at all. Just like a Windows desktop, most Android apps that store data also carry a recycle bin. So even if you delete a photo or video, it won't actually be deleted. Instead, it'll be moved to the recycle bin for several days until it gets automatically deleted permanently. So if you're looking to recover any media, look for the menu titled Trash, Recycle Bin, or Archived. For Google Photos, it can be found in the Library section. For Google Messages, it can be found on the side panel as Archived. Or for any apps or games, it's a little more complicated. In the Play Store, you tap your profile, select Manage Apps and Devices, tap on Manage, change the Installed dropdown to Not Installed, change the filter to Recently Added, and here you can restore your old apps quickly. Now if your file is not in the recycle bin, then we'll need to check the cloud because there's a slight chance that these reflections haven't yet been reflected online. Google Drive is the default cloud storage for all Android phones and almost every Google app uses this to back up your data. If you're trying to retrieve a photo or a video, you should check Google Photos. So on your desktop, go to photos.google.com and dig through there. Even check the trash folder found within the hamburger menu. If you wanna restore old messages, app data, call history, or device settings, that's gonna be a little bit harder to retrieve because Google only lets you restore that data when you set up a new device for the first time. So if you're really desperate to retrieve those old messages or photos, you'll need to factory reset your phone and set it up with that cloud backup. On the positive side, Google doesn't do these smartphone backups that quickly, so it may still be an option hours later, even for photos and videos. So to check when the last time Google backed up your entire phone, you can download the Google One app and on the homepage under backup, it'll tell you. Plus you can see what other phones are backed up on your cloud. Or if you have the Google Drive app, you can also check there within the backup section. Finally, if you don't feel like factory resetting your phone, but still want to retrieve that deleted file, then the last resort is to use a third-party recovery app. But that's where things start to get really sketchy because the grand majority of them are straight up scams. Trust me, I would know because I tried some of them for this video, paid some good money up front, and ended up empty-handed. I do it so that you don't have to. So drop a thumbs up since I took one for the boys. And the main reason why most of these recovery apps don't work is because retrieving a deleted file from your internal storage is pretty much close to impossible. Every Android phone released after 2011 uses a media transfer protocol that's a lot stricter than USB mass storage, which is what most hard drives use. That's why when you connect your phone to your computer, it doesn't pop up as a drive letter. Instead, it shows up as a phone icon, basically implying that your phone is still in control preventing you from changing the storage. So that kind of sucks. 
um, but you still have a slight chance of recovering those files if you're already rooted. I'll explain more in a second. Now, if your phone supports an external storage, meaning you have an SD card and you accidentally delete a file off that, then you'll have a slightly better chance of recovering it, especially if that file has just been recently deleted. So I recommend you use a software called Recova. It's completely free and works well. You just plug in your micro SD card to your computer with an adapter, uh, find the drive letter in Recova and have it scan it. If it finds something, it'll let you know how salvageable it is and you can recover it quickly. Now again, if you have root, you'll have a better chance of recovering those deleted files that were once stored on your internal storage, especially if the deleted information was within an app's database. I'm not saying it's guaranteed, but it's a possibility. The only app that gets the job done is Disk Digger. Once you give it root access, it'll dig deep into your internal storage to hopefully recover those deleted files. The free version will just scan for photos and videos, while the pro version will let you look for any type of files. The pro version is just $3, which is not a bad deal, but if you want to get it for free, the developer was kind enough to give me some promo codes to give away on my Patreon page. Finally, for those who've damaged their phone screen to the point where the touch screen it doesn't work or the display is just black, there are still multiple ways to retrieve your data or back it up on the cloud so that you can retrieve everything on another phone. The first option is to connect a mouse by USB to your phone uh, so that you can control it even if your touchscreen doesn't work, but you can still see what's going on. The only downside is that you may need to purchase a USB-C adapter, but if you have one laying around, then you're good to go. From there, you can download the Google One app, and within that, you select Backup and hit Backup Now. If your phone's screen is completely destroyed and you can't see anything, but you know it's still on because you can hear the sound or feel the vibrations, then you can download screen copy on your computer to quickly mirror your phone's screen and let you control it. It's free, open source, and pretty straightforward. Makes it easy to also back up everything. The only downside is that you will need to have USB debugging pre-enabled on your phone within the developer options. Uh, super sorry about that if you don't have that enabled. Either way, those are the best methods you can use to try and retrieve a deleted file. Again, I'm sorry if you couldn't retrieve anything, but hey, on the bright side, you didn't waste any money on an expensive, sketchy Windows recovery software that could also end up giving you a virus. So maybe drop a thumbs up for that. And for future reference, most people don't know this, but you can also back up your device folders on your Google Cloud. You just go into the Google Photos app, tap on your profile, select Photo Settings, backup, then backup device folders, and here you can choose to backup any of your folders found within your phone. A very hidden but useful feature. Just for that alone, you need to get subscribed with the notification bell turned on. Anyway, that's it for this video. I'll be sure to leave the smartphone that I use, which is the Pixel 7 Pro within the product tag feature so that you can pick one up for yourself, sponsored by YouTube themselves. Thanks for watching all the way through, and I'll catch you in the next one. Kapow!